How goes it? As usual, I want to start off with some of the things I did slash learned this past week. First off, I did a lot of audio splitting slash leveling for the last video, which was tedious but worth the experience. Then I watched a couple of videos on color theory, although with stuff I already knew so didn't get too much out of it. Watched the video on which canvas size slash resolution to use. Pretty sure I'm going to stick with what I have for now, as it was talking about 4K and I can run 1080 60 frames per second video. Not anything else though. Also watched the visual breakdown of the KDA music video, as I really like what Studio 4 Chija does with their mix of 3D slash 2D animation, and since I'm learning animation and 3D modeling, it's a win-win situation. Lastly, there was animation of 2D fighting games, and a video on perspective mistake tips. Not that I need help with perspective, as I clearly have it down perfectly. Well, putting all of that aside, let's talk about my troubles with hair and other things related to this drawing session. To begin with, yes, I did not connect the bottom half of the skull to the ear correctly, but I knew it would have taken a while longer between each one if I got too technical. I also didn't draw the top of the skull big enough so as to let the hair sit correctly on top and look a bit less flat overall, but was just trying to get an idea of the structure of hair. To help me not try drying out every important strand in the time consuming way I usually do. For the next set, guess who hasn't done too many back views? Wait, why would you guess me? I'll have you know I do mostly headshots these days, I mean, don't. Proof. I lost the flash drive it was on. Oops. But yeah, for both of these sets, instead of drawing one head or back view and reusing the model for each variation of hair, I was like, I need the practice, so I'll just redraw it each time. What happened with the third back view is I drew the shoulders too wide and broad. Had to redo it as it was bothering me. Not that I didn't end up making the shoulders this time a bit too short. Well, you know what, just forget that ever happened. As for the fourth one, don't do a lot of pigtails, don't do a lot of back views. Put them together and you get to the point where all the mistakes are piling up and you need a break before you end up calling it quits. I got up, put on some dance music, and had fun moving around for 10 or less minutes. Jumped back into drawing, finished up the pigtails, and moved on. The first two after that went alright. They had their problems, but it was an okay job. Then we get to the side views. And I chaos crackers. Putting the hair aside, I always have a problem with the nose to top lip to bottom lip to chin area. But I just went for it and got it done. Had to keep myself from getting too hung up on it because it's not my main focus this time. Now, last week I told myself I need to record more drawings being done for the video as the canvas is a bit bare by the end. And I end up feeling like I didn't do enough for the quote unquote practice session. So I said, okay. Next video, I'm going to try to record some more because I'm not getting as much as I would like done with this time frame. So until I get quicker and have a firmer grasp of things, just put some more time aside to record. Anyway, finally going over to the last four, I really like how they turned out. Were there problems with each one? Yeah. The first one's eye is too far up and didn't place the hair in the right spot, so it ended up covering up more than it should have. Second one drew the right side of the hair too big and or high up and so forth. But coming from the first half, it reminded me again that I'm inconsistent but have the building blocks to get it right. It's starting to crawl out of this four year or so ditch I've been lying in. All that being said, hope to see you next time and that you're improving your endeavors also.